welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to hold on. Ah, I'm not properly for this video yet. Today I'm going to be rating some fidget toys that I got. I got this for like twenty-two dollars on Amazon, so you can get a lot of fidgets on Amazon, but I thought today would be a very good day to rate some of these fidgets that I have. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so I think the first thing I'm going to rate is this Wacky Track. Give this like a 10 out of 10. This is super fun to play with. It did pinch me like right here earlier. <laughs> it kind of hurt. But I do give this a 10 out of 10. Um, so basically I have an idea where I will, like, sorry, I will let you guys know, like, my thoughts and where you should bring this. The first thing that you should not bring this is into school because sometimes it could be really quiet and then when you play with it, it's like really loud. <laughs> but I would bring this like anywhere else, like at a restaurant, so it's like you don't understand, but... Yeah, I would bring this anywhere but a school. Moving on. Um, ne next thing I'm going to be rating is some bike chains. I love this. Uh, I brought this one into school because it doesn't make that much noise. And it's like super easy to fidget with. Um, I would bring these to school. Or one to school. I would bring one to school. That way people don't think any other that you have any other and they might want to take it from you. But because I know some people do that. But I give this a 9 out of 10. The only thing that isn't like eh is the way it feels when you move it. Like this one is like harder to move than the other one. And I like it more. So this is like super like flexible to move. So I give this one a 9 out of 10. This is like a 10 out of 10. I love these. These are fidgets for like whenever. Like you can bring these wherever. Um, the only thing is. Is that you could probably lose these pretty easily. Because they're like really small. And kind of, I would imagine them being kind of hard to find. But moving on. Next are these little are these little tiny fidget spinners. I don't personally like them like that much. I don't really like fidget spinners. They don't really help with anxiety or anything or like anything like that. They don't really help me. I give these like one out of 10. I'm so sorry fidget spinners, but like <laughs> these are just like kinda, I don't know. They just don't really fit me. I don't really like them that much. If I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, no. I give these a 1 out of 10. They do have really pretty colors, but they don't fucking really do anything for me. So, yeah. Uh, next is a beautiful, gorgeous poppet. These are like... I love these. I usually... I bring these to school, but just for our friends, so just so me and my friends can play, like, you know, the little game. Because if you don't know, this is also a game. But I usually bring it to school to play the game at lunch. But, um, uh, I love my poppet because both sides have, like, pop sounds. Like, let me, let me, and then on the other side, that one's more quiet, but, like, Hold on, let me, yeah, they both make sounds, though. I give this a 8 out of 10. The only reason why I give it an 8 out of 10 is because bringing it to school is, like, really hard because you can get in trouble for bringing these to school, um, like, when you're doing class because they are really noisy, and I usually get really nervous when they make noise, but, yeah. Nah. Moving on. Next, a next fidget we're gonna rate is a tangle. These are like 
they're like fun to play with but you have to be really careful with them because these can break like really easily because like when I got this in the mail and I first started like doing I went like that and like this piece I think it's this one it popped right off and then I tried and I tried putting it back on and my mom bought me a pizza so that's why it stopped but uh this piece popped off and then when I tried putting it back on this piece popped off and it was like it was really really hard but I give this like you know a 7 out of 10 the only reason why I give it a 7 is because like it breaks easily but it, it and you have to be really careful with it and it's just it's not my favorite but yeah next things we're going to rate is these little mochis oh my gosh 10 out of 10 not only because they're squishy and I love the texture and I love squeezing them and I love like just going like this I, I love this one for texture but they are so cute I love them I used to have four but I gave um my friend at school my fourth one because she really liked it but yeah these are these are cool and this one glows in the dark wait hold on <laughs> I'm like really bad at doing these things but I'm pretty sure no you can't tell but they do glow in the dark which is kind of cool I love these that's why I give it a 10 out of 10 next up is these little pea poppers I don't know what they're really called but eight eight out of ten um i love popping the middle one that's the easiest one to pop wait do they have different faces i can't i can't tell uh let me see if they do have different faces uh no they don't have different faces this is what their little faces look like but i give it like uh eight eight out of ten because these little ones like right here are super hard to pop for both of them and I use this one the most and it still hurts my hands to pop them out so that's why I give it like an 8 out of 10 but they're like super portable like they have like little chains on them so you can like put it in like your pocket and stuff like that like these are like portable I love these that's why I give them 8 out of 10 but but the reason why I gave it like a lower than I would have given it is because of these little guys back here so yeah, um, next, let's move on with this little thing, these, um, I love this, would not bring it into school, everything that I showed you, um, I would bring into school, yeah, I wouldn't bring this one into school because only these two make sound, but they're like, the most satisfying to push, this doesn't make sound, uh, this right here does this right here doesn't and then this little bottom does and then this is just really hard to move but my favorite part about this is the texture this part right here the little mover thing this uh these little rollers and everything on the bottom i love i get like a 9 out of 10 wouldn't bring to school but the reason why i gave a 9 out of 10 is because it is really loud and I know some people need this for school, so, yeah. Next thing I am rating is the gorgeous Infinity Cube I have. I love Infinity Cubes. Wouldn't bring to school because it makes a, a quite a bit of noise. But, like, I've gotten, like, super good at, like, moving an Infinity Cube. Like, I know it looks, like, really weird, like, I'm trying, but, like, Like, these are, like, really fun to play with. I love these. I love this. Uh, 9 out of 10. Makes a lot of noise. It's, you can't really slip it in your pocket or people will know it. you have it. Uh, but, yeah, 9 out of 10. I love this thing. I would bring this everywhere if I could. So, yeah. Next up is, uh, these stress balls. So, they are going to have a different rating. This is a 1 out of 10. It's like super hard to squeeze and it's not satisfying to squeeze either. Alright, I have to go to school soon, but I give this a 1 out of 10. Not satisfying to squeeze at all. Really hard. Hate this. 
this is a 9 out of 10. It's really, it's really, it feels really nice to squeeze, but it does make quite some noise. I still bring this to school, though, just because, like, everyone knows I have this, and everyone knows that it makes sound. I also love the color, so 9 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10. Look at it. If it's so nice to squeeze, and it has, like, this, I don't, I don't know, it looks like mashed potatoes. It probably isn't, but it's it's super nice and fun to squeeze. I absolutely love this thing. And um, 10 out of 10. I would bring this to school, but the only thing is it is really sensitive and it could pop really easily. So that's why I don't bring it to school. Monkey strings, 10 out of 10. I use these all the time, uh, especially when they're anxious. I bring them to school. And I usually just use this when I'm like doing my work and it helps me focus a lot. I would bring these to school. Um, 10 out of 10. There's not much to rate these with. Um, it does feel really good when you stretch all of them. Uh, it feels good when you stretch one of them, two of them. It feels really good. Um, and you can't really break them. but you, you can break them, but it's really hard to. 10 out of 10 saving a good one for last but this is a 10 these little marble mesh these are 10 out of 10 the only downside is that it's only with one of them but this little mesh is open i don't know how to fix it but like if you go like this you can easily like roll it out but other than that other than this little one it's probably like a 10 out of 10 I absolutely love and adore these. I would bring these to school. I don't because they don't help me as much, but I would bring these to school if they did help me. So these, nine out of 10. Now next are these little, these little coil things. I give these a 10 out of 10. I love the texture when it like goes up and down. And it's like super fun to fiddle with. 10 out of 10. So that's all my fidgets. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!